Oh my gosh! No! Hi, I'm Josh. I'm Ollie, and today we're going to be asking the question, can you improve on a PB&J sandwich? Ooh. The ultimate yeah. iconic duo of the food world yeah. is undeniably the PB and Jam sandwich. Peanut butter and jelly, as they call it in America. <laughs> Whatever. The average US citizen will consume over 3,000 PB and Jam sandwiches in the course of their lifetime. Uh, it's, it's jelly. Sometimes, when something's that dominant, you never stop to ask yourself, can it be improved? Like the wheel! So today, we're going to be competing to see who can find the best upgrade to the PB and Jam sandwich. It's jelly. I've come up with what I consider the three best adaptations. Okay. I think mine will be better. But okay. Let's test it out. PB and J war commence. Round one. See you. Josh doesn't know this, but I adhered very strictly to a rhyming pattern for this episode. Basically, the only criteria I used for choosing my ingredients were that they rhymed with jam, which apparently <laughs> is not even what Americans call PB&J sandwiches. All right, this is a legendary sandwich called Fool's Gold, okay. which involves an entire loaf of bread, an entire jar of jam, and an entire jar of peanut butter. I need you to fry up some streaky bacon for me. And then while you're doing that, I am gonna hollow out this loaf of bread. So this is a famous sandwich from a Colorado. Okay. Specifically one restaurant. Apparently, Elvis Presley found this sandwich. That is not an accolade that you want. <laughs> and he liked it so much that he would fly to Colorado just to get one of these sandwiches from this restaurant. Oh, oh. don't mind me while I just take this entire jar oh of my jam God. and put it into if this episode ends with me dying on a toilet, I am going to be so livid. I mean, I'll be dead, but I'll be livid in the afterlife. Look at the amount of calories in this sandwich. That's why it's fool's gold. It tastes like gold, but you're a fool if you eat it all. <laughs> if a pound of bacon, an entire jar of peanut butter, an entire jar of jam. Nice little crunchy squidge. This is like literally my dream sandwich. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh yes. That is exactly what I wanted it to look like. That, interestingly enough, is exactly what Elvis's insides look like. Okay, okay. <laughs> you ready to taste fool's gold? Yeah, I am. I'm more than ready. Mmm. 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 Okay. That is good. A few things to note, Josh. Mm. Obviously, mm. the bacon works. The crispiness, don't you think that's good? Crispiness really works. Yeah. But you know what I would say is mm. the hidden weapon? What's that? The ratio mm. of peanut butter and jam mm -hmm. in the sandwich mm. is drastically higher. This is like, yeah. it's 60% filling. Yeah. Because we hollowed out the roll. Exactly. Holy moly, does that taste good. Mad respect. Mm. That, I would say, you've definitely improved on the PB and jam sandwich. Will it? I think that's actually better than I was expecting it to be. And I had high hopes. This is why you need to revisit these things. Mm. Maybe we should return to the wheel. It's true. It's true. Be like, can it be improved upon? Yeah. Okay, now it's time for my round. We've all heard of the peanut butter and jam sandwich. But have you heard of the peanut butter and spam sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck is that? It's spam. Let's give it a go. Very good. I mean, I haven't taste tested this. No, oh, great. I've got no idea whether it's going to work. I just went from a peanut butter and jam and crispy bacon masterpiece, and now you're giving me an entire can of Spam. Yeah, this oh! Oh! <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Ready? <laughs> peanut butter and Spam. You know what? I am actually curious what this is going to taste like. Very nice. I like how you're going for the diagonal cross mm -hmm. cut sandwiches. They, they taste better. Look at that. All right, should we do this? Yeah, let's do it. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> that is one of the weirdest tastes I've ever, ever put in my it's mouth. It's unique. Some really well-respected art is not enjoyable, <laughs> but it's unique. 
and nothing else like it. It's one of a kind. I think I would put this sandwich in that category. This is not well respected anywhere in the world. <laughs> I mean, it depends. It could summon respect, as in, if you don't do this difficult task, I will make you eat a peanut butter and spam sandwich. Is that what respect is? <laughs> <laughs> What's interesting about that is peanut butter is such a strong flavor that you can't really taste the spam. Yeah. It comes out when you least expect it and it's like, sabam! Sabam! In your mouth. Yeah. Hmm. I'd say you win this round. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. We just tried one of Elvis's favorite sandwiches, uh, Fool's Gold. This sandwich is actually called the Elvis. Once you have layered some nice bread with a good amount of crunchy peanut butter and then a layer of banana slices. Can I hear some rustling out in the corridor? You can. <laughs> After adding bacon to this lovely peanut butter and banana Elvis sandwich, the final form of the Elvis is then deep fried in the bacon fat. Of course it is. In its entirety. Of course it is. Pop it in, pop it in. Let's give it a fry. Okay. <laughs> We're taking it up a notch. I think I've made a huge mistake going head to head with you. Honestly, preparing for this episode, I felt like this is what I was born to you do. You were coming home. I can retire now. Wow. What do you think? I mean, it looks unbelievable. It looks oh, baby. Like a restaurant. If a local cafe around us sold this, I feel like I would go for this quite regularly. Yeah, you would. The banana actually looks like it's kind of been softened, caramelized. Exactly. By the cooking process. With the bacon as well and the peanut butter. Oh, let's, let's do, do it. it. Mm. Oh my. Oh my! Mm. It is just very slightly better than peanut butter and spam. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than the fool's gold. Mm. And the fool's gold was amazing. This is never going to be better. Is... The banana creates a weird fruity layer, which I think might divide opinion. A bit like okay. the um, yeah. a Hawaiian pizza. Mm, interesting. But. I'm all for it because it replaces the sweetness of the jam mm, in the sandwich, that's right? That's it. Holy that's a glorious thing. Moly. Oh, thank you, Elvis. You are the king. Has to be said. He's the king. I'm speechless. Well, very impressive again, Josh. Thank you very much. I feel like really coming to my own with this episode. Yeah, I, I would agree. <laughs> it feels like I've gone into a wrestling match with Hulk Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> with no preparation <laughs> and I'm just being thrown around like a rag doll. <laughs> all right. Oh, it's lovely. My round. Put a lot of effort into this. Okay, okay. A huge amount of effort. Okay. We've all heard <laughs> of a peanut butter and jam sandwich. But have you heard of a peanut butter, yam, clam, and parmesan sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> wow, these smell kind of off. Oh, I got them. You're supposed to smell like that? Oh. They really don't it smell. They really don't smell right. I think we should try them anyway. Okay, all right. What's the worst that can happen? Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I feel like this is not thought through. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, okay. Does it not look really thought through? Um, no. I, I will happily have a bit more. Oh, you just went in. I'm really glad you tried it before I have to. What do you think? Last time you said the peanut butter taste was strong enough to cover off the spam. I thought it would taste different from what it smells like. Did it smell like the cheese? Oh! Don't open your mouth. Oh, what do you think? Open, open. Go back, go back, go back. Oh! Oh! That's <laughs> It tastes like poo. It tastes like I've eaten poo. <laughs> I told you the clams were wrong. Oh, <laughs> oh dear lord. This is horrible. What were you thinking? <laughs> oh no. Literally tasted like I'd had a spoonful of poo. <laughs> Never have off clams. You should not try that. I'm that not gonna. I'm I can tell gonna. you right now that does not improve on a I'll PB and J punch. sandwich. All round right. three. I'm actually coming to look forward to your rounds <laughs> and really not look forward to my rounds. Now the thing here is, Ollie, I feel like I've peaked. Oh. That last 
peanut butter oh, sandwich. Oh, sorry, I thought you meant just in life in general. <laughs> <laughs> that last peanut butter sandwich was good. So, since I've done the best savoury sandwich already, I thought, why don't we turn to a sweet option? I like where this is going. Well, there's a famous peanut butter sandwich called the Fluffernutter, where you combine marshmallow fluff with peanut butter. But I thought, why don't we try it with real marshmallow? Oh. And if we're going to go for dessert peanut butter sandwich, what is a tried and tested pairing to peanut butter? Peanut butter and chocolate. The most famous of which is, of course, Reese's. We've hit the mother load. Can I throw in my tuppence? Please. And Please. suggest one improvement on this. Okay, what? I've Should... been waiting for this moment for a long time. Okay. Can I please use Gabby's cooking blowtorch? When you say improvement, I think you mean already part of the plan. Yes! <laughs> we are perfectly in sync! <laughs> already oh. prepared, mate. Okay. Already prepared. Oh, this is a big moment. Okay. <laughs> Oh, okay. I have imagined myself <laughs> doing this many, many times. Okay, no, Gabby no, never no, wait, lets wait, me do wait, this. Wait, don't turn it on yet. Oh my gosh! Look, there's nothing to melt I, yet. Yeah, I turn know, it but off. I want to try. Ollie, just... we don't have much gas. Turn oh, it off. Turn it off. Flipping heck! I thought, you know, I've never had a sandwich with Reese's peanut butter cups in it. Okay. So what if we put a layer of mashed up peanut butter cups into the sandwich? Nice. Can there I melt it? Just a slight melting. Oh my gosh, yeah. Okay, very good. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. Don't over melt it, don't over melt it. And then we're gonna squish one big one right at the top with some little ones around the edges. All right. Hit it. Yeah. Yes. Oh. <laughs> this is working better than I'd hoped. Oh. This is like a that's small good. peanut butter sandwich. Oh! Now, Ollie, I know what you're thinking. This looks like the perfect sandwich already. It's not done yet. Because what would make this sandwich even better? Frying bacon. it. Frying bacon. Frying it in a bit of butter. Oh, oh. Butter, not uh, bacon. I thought we, we had were on, enough bacon. I thought we were back on we the same bacon. wavelength. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. 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 oh my gosh. I mean, even Elvis would have been like, it's a bit too unhealthy. <laughs> That's a bit much, guys. <laughs> All right. Oh, baby, you ready? Oh. <gasps> Look at that. Wowzers. <laughs> the marshmallow. Right. I'm doing it. You're going for it. Mmm. <gasps> Wow, that is sweet. Wow, that is sweet. I mean, it's mm. astonishingly good. Mm. Mm. Well, that's my homemade interpretation of a fluffernutter. Holy moly. What do you think, Oz? <laughs> At some point, you just mm. have to sit back and acknowledge your opponent's talent. <laughs> In a way, I'm just happy to be here. It's true. It's true. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's not over yet. It's true. You've still got your final round. Okay. Do we want your final round? My final round. I'm worried. Yeah is pure art. It's gonna be like peanut butter and bran flakes. Peanut that was considered. Peanut butter and flan? Also considered. <laughs> no. I also considered peanut butter and diazepam, but that is a <laughs> prescription <laughs> drug. <laughs> no. This is none of those. Okay, You've I'm heard glad. of a peanut butter and jam sandwich, but have you heard of a peanut butter and lamb sandwich? What is that? Lamb. That's, I mean, it doesn't look... Why is it in a little sad lump? <laughs> in the middle of my sandwich. That's a very good description of what that is. <laughs> it's Ooh, lamb. It smells amazing. Yeah. It smells good. I know. Try this on. is an unusual cut of lamb. You probably will never have had this Oh, cut no. Before. Please tell me I, my in, brain did not just go to the right place. In many ways, if you really love lamb, no, you will love this. No, you did not just put a flipping lamb testicle <laughs> on a piece of bread and serve it to me. This is peanut butter. That is lamb nut <laughs> in butter. Oh, why are you? Can I say, without prompting, got your nose right up in there and you said, 
These nuts smell incredible. Oh, it smells good. I know. What herb is that on the top? Oh, I think that's just the it's hair. Spin in the oh, snot. No. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, the peanut butter feels entirely gratuitous. Peanut butter and lamb. Just testicles. You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cut open. You're going cross section. I, yeah, I just want to know what's You want to like. see the texture. Look at that. That is a see meaty that. ball. Okay. okay, let's do it. You didn't even try it with peanut butter. That's a lot of lamb, Nani. It tastes like lamb. Yeah. But, but like younger. <laughs> Can I just state the entire theory behind your offerings today yeah. is flawed. It's peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> you should have found things around with jelly. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> when we were talking about this episode and you corrected me and <laughs> said it's peanut butter and jelly, I was like. <laughs> 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 well, that has been Can You Improve on a Peanut Butter and Jam Sandwich? I would say Josh can. Ollie can't. <laughs> That's all we learned in this episode. No, uh, thank you for that, Ollie. That was. That was I, I am glad to be able to say I have eaten that and will never ever have to again. That's friendship, man. I just gave you a lamb's testicle. You ate it, and you said thank you. <laughs> That's how, that's how low we've sung. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll see you jolly soon. See you later. Bye. Hi, I'm Jenny, and my reason to be jolly today is... My tomatoes are growing, and they are going to be so 